Wow, what a morning. We, uh, we leave today. We gotta pack everything up before noon. It's downpouring. It's pretty awesome. It's a great combination of trying to leave and playing in the rain. It's a lot of fun. We slept well last night. We got up this morning. Rained a little bit throughout the night, and now we're getting downpoured on again this trip. So we love to see that. Oh, well, tell you what, this breakfast definitely beats packing in the rain, that's for sure. Jim's on the griddle this morning. We got pancakes, sausage, bacon. Not a bad way to start the day. It'd just be nice if it was a little bit more dry. Probably gonna go in for seconds here pretty soon. As soon as it lightens up, we are gonna go back outside. We have to take down the truck tent, load up the boat, the kayaks, the whole works. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna get to Munchie. You know, packing in the rain is literally one of the worst, and I swear to God, every time you go camping, it rains every single time. It's like it knows when you're leaving, which is ridiculous. It is lighting up a little bit compared to what it was when we were in the tent before, but it was absolutely just downpouring. I mean, we got like four inches in the past, like not that many hours, it's ridiculous. But we are just kind of reflecting on this whole week and how it's been and how it was living in, oh my God, that is an app. Do you see this? Hold on. Let it rain some more. Okay, anyways. Reflecting on how it's been this week, living out of our truck tent, and honestly, it wasn't too bad. Now we did have the camper and some other people with us and whatnot, but we did spend every single night in this thing, through the rain, all sorts of type of weather, and this thing held up. I mean, for 130, somewhere around that range for price, it, it held up really good and is definitely a good investment. And it was, it was a fun week. I mean, it was a hardcore week. We did a lot of fishing, a lot of filming for you guys, sitting around the campfire, good food. I mean, we caught, what did we catch? Some good smallmouth. Brandon caught a muskie, some walleyes. Overall, just a really fun week and really wouldn't want it to be any other way besides maybe the no rain while picking up. But I guess it's a good like kick in the butt to, hey, get your stuff packed up and head around home because even though I am ending vacation and I know Brandon is as well. It will be very nice to get home, take a shower because we're very smelly boys having taken a shower up here and just to be home and you know, service again and stuff like that. But overall, really fun week and we're gonna continue on packing here. We're not gonna drench the camera and all that. We still got a little bit of work here and hopefully it doesn't start downpouring on us even more. That's it right there. We got everything packed up, boats fully loaded, tents down, everything's packed up into the truck. Crazy to think we're leaving already, but it has been a full week in the woods, out here in the wilderness, just living life. Between cutting wood, catching fish to make your next meal, starting fires and grilling it right over the top, there's just nothing better than just being out here and doing what we do. Holy 
Holy crap, does it feel amazing to be back at home, boys. Like you guys have no idea how much I've missed this place. I didn't even know how much I missed it, but it feels good to be back in dry clothes and be home and just be not in the wilderness after seven, eight days of being out there. I mean, it's amazing, don't get me wrong, but there's just nothing like being back at home. So, got home and found this dirty little package sitting by the door. Now, uh, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting to see this. Nick and I both have. Inside of here is something special. But what we've got is a package from Tide Weed. Oh man, is it looking juicy. Inside of here, we have got a brand new insulated pair of waders. And these bad boys are going to be freaking awesome. Get all the packaging off. Man, oh man, these are looking dirty, boys. 600 grams of Thinsulate. We got sent these from Tidewee. These are going to be awesome. I like 600 grams of Thinsulate because it's not going to be too hot and also not going to be too cold. We are going to be using these in the fall and especially in the spring. Obviously, as you guys know, we do a ton of spring fishing for walleyes and this is going to be perfect for down at all the dams that we fish we're doing wader fishing oh my gosh this is going to be freaking sweet it's even got real tree camo to them very very nice very good condition these things are awesome they're actually not like crazy heavy either i really like these i think these are going to keep us really warm what do you say maybe we uh take them out and just go test them out in the river real quick sure all right let's freaking do it all right well I can already tell that these pair of waders are actually even more comfortable than both of my previous pair of waders. They just feel right. The shoulder straps feel good. They're not very heavy. Pretty awesome actually. I like the pockets. Got room for the old shotgun shells when it's time to blast some birds. On the inside, it's got this nice little pocket to keep everything dry inside of. And it did come with this handy dandy little repair kit, which is very nice just because you never know what's gonna happen out there in the streams and stuff like that. Get caught on something, there's always that chance. And then of course, also have this guy right here. Definitely very nice to have waterproof case for your phone. And as you can tell, you can actually use this. Look at that face ID, boom. Oh, can't see me, better enter my pin code. Check that out works all the way through the case. I can go through, slide through my apps while this thing is completely waterproof inside of this case. So, definitely nice to have. Go ahead, set that back down, and I guess we're gonna venture into the water here. Wow, well, tell you what, this is a very mucky area back here in the river. I can kind of walk on it. Definitely not sand by any means, and I don't wanna go through and, uh, well, fill up the old tide wheeze on day one. That's definitely not the goal, but if I had a rod in hand right now, we'd be ripping smallmouth through this creek. This is not bad at all. I really like these waders a lot. Honestly, these are freaking awesome. Very, very impressed. I think they're gonna be extremely durable. I like the camouflage to them for hunting season. I like everything about them. The pouches are great. We're ready to rock, so definitely would highly recommend the old Tidewee waders, check them out. Again, these are 600 gram thin slate, which is gonna be perfect for up here in the Midwest for what we do. Again, tons of walleye fishing, smallmouth, we're hitting cricks, going trout fishing and stuff like that. Way out in the backwoods, this is exactly what you need. I'm gonna get out of the muck here. There will be a link in the description below, so make sure to check them out. Again, you're gonna to wanna to get on it right away because it is midsummer right now, but it's amazing how quick fall does come up on you, and you're gonna want a set of these before that happens. And again, especially in the springtime, make sure to load up on them because these things are gonna be awesome. Well guys, it's been an exciting week. We've done tons of fishing, tons of food eating and camping and cutting wood, and God, we've been kinda of all over the place. It's been one hell of a week battling the weather and Oh yeah. Just getting out doing Weather was pretty crazy. Crazy, but it was fun. We really put ourselves to the test. We put all of our equipment to the test this week. We had a blast getting out there fishing and seeing the family, spending some quality time up in the Northwoods. So again, we made it back home 
Just got to check out these awesome waders that came in the mail. Filled now it's an time awesome to, series. Yeah, an absolute banger of a series. It was a ton of fun. We had a blast getting out there and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let us know down in the comment section below. We wanna know if you guys enjoyed the series, if you wanna see more series like this on the channel. Of course, it is tough to get off of work for a full week for both Nick and I at the exact same time and the whole family really. But right. we made it happen and we would love to do it again. Again, if you guys enjoyed the series, make sure to let us know down in the comment sections below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, Video, give it a big old fat thumbs up if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and until next time guys tight lines from NB edits